वेलकम टू पार्ट वन ऑफ डी पी हंड्रेड प्रैक्टिस एग्जाम क्वेश्चन आई एम मिथ एम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ओरकल एंड ए डब्ल्यू एस सर्टिफाइड आई ऑलवेज शो माई सर्टिफिकेशन सो दैट यू कैन ट्रस्ट ऑन माई आंसर्स आई हैव ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड प्रैक्टिस एग्जाम क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू ए डब्ल्यू एस क्राउड प्रैक्टिशनर ए आई नाइन हंड्रेड ईजी नाइन हंड्रेड सो इफ यू मिस दो प्लीज डू चेक इट आउट ओके द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ बैच प्रोसेसिंग सो आई हैव मार्क द की वर्ड्स एंड वी गॉट टू सिलेक्ट टू आंसर्स सो द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज डेटा इज प्रोसेस्ड एज इट इज जनरेटेड दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली फॉल्स दिस इज इन केस ऑफ स्ट्रीमिंग वर्कलोड और स्ट्रीम प्रोसेसिंग सो दिस इज फॉल्स सेकेंड इज डेटा इज कलेक्टेड फॉर पीरियोडिक प्रोसेसिंग दिस लुक्स टू बी करेक्ट बिकॉज बैश प्रोसेसिंग रिमेंबर इट्स ऑलवेज ऑन पीरियोडिक और इट्स शेड्यूल्ड लाइक यू गॉट टू नो द टाइमिंग सो दिस लुक्स टू बी ट्रू सी इज लॉन्ग लेटेंसी इज एक्सेप्टेबल दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू बिकॉज शॉर्ट लेटेंसी इज फॉर स्ट्रीमिंग वर्कलोड सो विच इज डी विच कांट बी सो डी इज रॉन्ग सो वी गॉट आर टू options and these are the correct options for this question okay this question is related to the concepts of batch and stream workloads so you got to be prepared about this concept because these are very common in dp 900 exam so the first statement says batch workload can be used to build a monthly payroll of your company yes because this is scheduled or we know the timing so this fits batch workload so this is correct next is streaming workload can be used to monitor temperature sensors on a production line so since the question is saying about production line this is kind of it's live right so this is not delayed data or anything so stream processing related to production line is absolutely true so the third option is or the statement is streaming workload can be used to measure the weekly gas consumption in a neighborhood so this isn't correct because streaming workload as mentioned earlier that it's work for production line or live data kind of right this is saying about weekly gas this is delayed data this suits uh, this fits in the category of batch workload not streaming workload so we'll mark this is as no so these are the correct options for this all right we got everything in one hood that is olap batch processing stream processing and oltp so this should sharpen your arsenal for the examination so the question says xyz company uses an accounting system to keep track of all types of financial transactions so i have marked the keywords so you can see you are talking out for accounting system and that is for financial transactions so the first option says olap so remember whenever you see olap in the option if in the question it's asked about big data or like uh, any kind of complex analytics like data mining so then olap is used so this doesn't fit our question so this is wrong next is batch processing so note always batch is for scheduled so in the question there is nothing related to timing or where schedule is mentioned so batch processing is also wrong stream processing next option so as mentioned earlier it's used for continuous stream of data and is mission critical workload or production line so in the question we can't see those type of keywords so this is again false so oltp we arrive and this is a the only option left so this got to be correct if we have arrived the conclusion successfully so oltp looks to be good because in case of oltp we know that uh, it's used for accounting or financial this type of things and it's used for a uh, strong consistency so oltp is the correct option for this all right the next question is related to azure data lake storage services i have marked the keywords so the keywords are parquet format t sql and query so if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe and press the bell so that you do not miss any beat from my channel and it will help you pass most and 
most difficult i can say it examinations which you are aiming for so the options are polybase azure data factory so remember whenever you see these type of keywords like parquet t sql so the answer got to be a no brainer and that got to be a polybase rest all are distractors so as you know i always support my answer with official documentation as well so you can see like the keywords which i have marked the t sql pocket files this comes under polybase so polybase is the correct option for this all right this is another question related to the workloads i have marked the keywords it's for monthly data and which type of processing if you have gone through my previous videos of this series that is the part one which i have mentioned few moments back so this should be a piece of cake for you so the first option is stream processing i'll explain the concept once again this doesn't fit stream processing because this is related to monthly data not production or current data so stream processing is wrong for this batch processing this looks to be good but let's still scroll, scroll through the other options other options are oltp absolutely not oltp is used for business and store business transactions this kind of so no olap as mentioned earlier it's for business analysis and like data mining kind of thing so this is wrong so we arrive at the conclusion that batch processing is the correct option for this all right this question is related to storage or training videos so this is interesting store training videos i have marked the keywords so the first option is table storage so <laughs> this the uh, after reading the first option made me laugh because I haven't seen till date uh, trading videos are stored in table, table tabular form. So <laughs> this is absolutely no. So I don't know. So this kind of funny questions will you might get funny options which might look funny to you. So next is SQL database. Absolutely no, because you know SQL database and this belongs to the kind of relational data. All right. so this is again wrong so azure blob storage yes this looks to be the potential option because it's used for storing objects like images videos so this fits so let's still look at the other option if we can get better option so next is azure file storage so this might be a bit confusing because uh, azure file storage can also store training videos so the main or primary reason we don't use azure file storage for this is that it's accessible for network users so i mean you need training videos which needs to be accessible to other users not just the developers right so azure file storage doesn't fit so we are left out with azure blob storage so this is the correct option for this All right this is a question related to real time data so i have explained the concepts of all the four till now so if you have followed me so it should be a piece of cake and if you have guessed the option as definitely b so you have guessed it right so stream processing is the correct option as it's related to real time data or we can say which is data which is not stale and that is perfect fit for anti fraud platform so this is the correct option for this okay this type of question you might get so remember for dml and ddl statements right the commands or the queries so dml always remember the keyword dui right so if you remember this keyword so you you, uh, you can easily determine which suits right so definitely i for insert is there so this is the correct option and if you want to remember for ddl it's t card remember the word t card and you will get your options correct options from this so this is the correct option for this question okay this is a real world kind of question 
So I have marked the keywords as related to data mining and large amounts of data. Which type of workload should you use? So as mentioned earlier, whenever big data or large amounts of data or data mining, this type of keyword is there. So don't give another thought. Your answer is nothing but OLAP online analytical processing right everything is a destructor so d is the correct option for this okay this question is related to characteristics of relational database so the first statement is you got to select yes and no so in the real world you will get a button kind of thing or radio button i can say yes or no so let's read the first statement state first statement says rows in the same table can have different number of columns so this is absolutely false in case of relational database right got to have the same number of columns so the next statement is a table can have any number of rows this is true it uh, let's say table a has 20 rows table b can have 40 rows as well so if you if you're from database background so this should be no brainer so there's yes next is primary keys used to enforce uniqueness on rows yes absolutely that's a definition of primary keys so you got to enforce uniqueness primary keys do that so this is true next is normalization helps in minimization of data duplication so absolutely true normalization does helps in minimizing the data duplication this is again yes so these are the correct option for this okay the next question is related to e-commerce so this is very common and very real world kind of and the keywords are temporary caching storage and type of data store we need to determine and this is the main keyword retrieve the data quickly as possible all right so this can be any kind of shopping e-commerce shopping site or so this looks to be a very good practical exam question so the options are graph absolutely not if in the question you see gremlin api kind of thing so at that time just think about graph or any kind of relation nodes is there so then only graph should strike your mind so graph is wrong next is columnar so definitely not columnar data storage con consists of you know row identifiers and group of information which are stored in columns so this doesn't do for caching and all right this is wrong next is document so document as in i can say think about json documents right so this absolutely not so this doesn't do this kind of things so key value yes this looks to be the correct option because key value consists of like simple and quick data structures which can help you identify and retrieve the data quickly so key value is the correct option for this so this is very common question and this is you should always remember this type of question right especially if you're preparing for db900 so the options are structured so definitely not relational and structure if you look at both the options these in these cases the data are highly normalized all right and these are related to tables commonly we use sql for these so these are absolutely wrong and semi-structured uh, fits looks to be good unstructured definitely not because these are used for um, kind of audio video files which we store in blob storage so d is also wrong so we are left out with c which is semi-structured always remember whenever json you see semi-structured to strike your mind json semi-structured documents these are the keywords so you should look for this all right so let's move on to next question all right this question looks to be a no-brainer because if you look at the question gremlin api is there so if you have followed me till now so this should be a piece of cake so Whenever you see Gremlin API, the answer got to be a graph. Don't think of other options. So rest are all distractors. So graph is the correct option for this. All right, this is related to match the following. So you will get this kind of 
question in real world exam as well. So be prepared for this. So the first statement says prevent access to an Azure SQL database from another network. Definitely this is kind of we can see um, a kind of firewall kind of thing. So in the option we have firewall. So this looks to be good. Support active directory AD Azure Active Directory sign ins to the Azure SQL database. Whenever you see Azure Active Directory, it's got to be authentication. All right, because it's related to kind of sign in and all stuff which we all do. So definitely nowhere it's related to encryption. All right, because Active Directory, the purpose of Active Directory is for authentication. So this looks to be good. Ensure that sensitive data never appears as plain text in Azure SQL database. So mark the keywords plain text sensitive data. This belongs to the category of encryption, right? Always double check whenever last option is left because this is the most problematic or the most uh, difficult part. If you have already selected few options uh, which are wrong, then you will be left out with another wrong option. So that will uh, it will you will be in big trouble during your exam. So always uh, this is a tip for you that the last option carefully match it correctly. So encryption looks to be good. So these are the correct options for this. OK, this is another interesting match the following. We got to match data structure and API and this got to clear your concepts because this is very much required for DP 900 exam. So the first option is graph data. So as mentioned earlier, whenever you see graph data, so Gremlin API should strike your mind, right? Gremlin API on nodes, relations, this kind of thing should strike your mind whenever you see graph. So Gremlin API looks to be good. Next is JSON date documents. So whenever you see JSON documents, as mentioned earlier, semi-structured, should strike your mind and also MongoDB API is belongs to this category. So for JSON document, MongoDB API looks to be good. And we are left out with key value data, which belongs to definitely table API. So we are left out with this and these are the correct options for this. That brings us to the end of part one. Let's meet again in part two. And I don't want you to miss a beat so please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.